Hi, I'm Nikki B, and welcome to my 20 minute kettlebell session today. We're going to work the entire body in this 20 minutes, and we have five exercises in total. We're going to work each exercise for 45 seconds with a 15 second rest, and we're going to do four rounds. Okay, the exercises will vary in the sense that, for example, exercise one is the swing, so we will do double arm alternating switch and single arm and then we have like reverse lunge so we have reverse lunge press and then we have reverse lunge pass through so the main part of the exercise will remain the same but it will just slightly differ but I'll explain as we go along so please don't worry make sure you've warmed up before you start if you warm up on my channel or warm up of your choice also make sure that you've got a towel to hand you do get hot and sweaty in kettlebells so you need to make sure that you've got a good grip on that kettlebell at all times weight wise that will depend on your fitness and strength level I've got two kettlebells here just bear it because I like to vary the weight depending on the exercise I'm doing. If you don't have kettlebells and you've got a dumbbell, you can always give this workout a go and incorporate the dumbbell instead. Okay, let's hit that timer and get straight into it. So we have, let's start it. We have the kettlebell swing to begin, so just double arm. So we're hinging at the hips here, we're not squatting, we're coming down. You get that momentum and then you thrust those hips forwards, squeezing that bottom as you bring that kettlebell up. Are you ready? So come down, get that momentum, squeeze those hips. That's it, thrusting, so squeeze those hips, squeeze that bottom, thrusting those hips forwards. That back is nice and straight. So the main part of this work is coming through your lower body. Excellent. Well done, five seconds. Okay, we're going to squat to bicep curl. So we're holding the kettlebell in front of us, toes facing forwards, coming down nice and low in that squat, coming up into a curl, okay? So that back is nice and straight, coming down, up, and curl. So coming down low, and curl. That chest is up, we're not leaning forwards. And when we do this curl, it's nice and controlled, those arms are tucked in. Excellent. Well done. Okay, we're now going on to the single leg deadlift. So we're going to pick up that kettlebell with our right hand. We're going to extend that right leg back. We're going to come up into a side lift. Coming down into a side lift. Okay, so pick up that kettlebell and up you come, nice and controlled. All on this side for this round, and then round two, we'll swap sides. Ooh. Don't worry if you lose your balance. I certainly do often. Well done. Ten seconds. Okay. We're going to reverse lunge this time and we're going to press. We're taking the kettlebell into that goblet position in front of our chest. We're going to step back with our right, step back with our left and press to the ceiling. So, nice big step back, bringing that knee low to, low to the ground and press. Check that front knee, it's got that nice 90 degree angle. That's it, and push to centre. Well done. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. So we're going down to the ground this time. We're going for a Russian twist. So this one, take the kettlebell by the handle. You're going to lean slightly back, 45 degrees. Nice straight back. And we're just going side to side. So get into position. Off you go. Following that kettlebell. Now you can increase this further by lifting those feet off the ground. Well done. This is a tough one. 15 seconds. So that's round one complete. This time we go for a swing, but we're alternating those arms, okay? So when you come up, you lead with your right, and then switch to your left. Okay, just switching. Remember the same principles of the swing stand. You're hinging at the hips, so you're squeezing those glutes at the bottom, and that back is staying nice and straight. Perfect. Snap those hips, thrust them forwards. Okay. We're back to our squat, but this time we're doing squat to halo. So you want the kettlebell by the handles, they'll face the ceiling. You're squatting down to centre, all the way around that head to a halo. Ready? So coming down, up, right the way around. You can change directions in that halo to go one way on one and then the opposite. Don't get too hung up though if you don't. Well done. Squeeze that bottom, those glutes as you come back up. That core is engaged. Five seconds. Whew. Okay, so this time we're going to that deadlift, but we're taking it with the other hand. So you're going to pick that kettlebell up with your left hand this time. Okay, so in three, they come down to centre, side lift. Okay, we're going to those reverse lunges, but this time we're doing reverse lunge pass through. Kettlebell in that right hand, step back with the right, pass to the left. Step back with the left, pass to the right. Core engaged. This one's really testing that stability. Perfect. 
Okay. We are going to plank pass through. So we're coming up into upright plank position. Feet a little bit wider to help with that stability. And you're just passing, dragging that kettlebell to the outside of the hands. So from right to left, left to right. Keep that core engaged so that you're not rocking. Well done. Perfect. Almost there. Ten seconds. Okay, up you come. Well done. We are halfway. This time we are doing single arm swing. So we're going to go up, we're going to do half, just with our right hand, and then you're going to switch halfway to the left. So get that momentum, come up, and when you're ready, lead with the right. Now if you don't feel comfortable, go back to the alternating arm switch. That's it, well done. Give me one more, and swap. So leading with the left. Five seconds. Okay, we are going back to the squat to curl. Should be feeling warm now. Make sure those hands are nice and dry. So, squat, curl. Go, so coming down, up, curl. Okay, nice and controlled on that curl. You're not just swinging it, it is controlled. That back is nice and straight, chest is up. Fifteen seconds. Five. Okay, we're going to that single leg deadlift to side lift. Back to using the right arm, extending the right leg back. Ready? So come down, pick it up, side lift. Done. Fifteen seconds. Okay, we are going back to that reverse lunge to press. So Kettlebell in that goblet position. Two reverse lunges to press. So, step back right, left, press above. Press up high to the ceiling, those arms almost touching those ears.
Okay, so this one for our core, we are doing sit up press. So holding the kettlebell here, rolling back, press to the ceiling, back, rolling it back down. Really engaging that core as you come down. So rolling it down, push up. You can use, you can do this one out the way as well. This is challenging. That's it. Well done. We have five minutes. We're going to our last round. So for this one, I'm going back to my alternating arm switch for this swing. Okay. So let's get that momentum. And we're just going to alternate. Perfect. Squeeze that bottom, those glutes. Thrust those hips forward. Done. Whew. Okay, we are going to do the squat to halo for this final round. So, holding by the bell, the kettlebell by the handle, the bell is facing the ceiling. So squat down, centre, around the halo. Again, coming nice and low in those squats. All the way around. Fantastic. 15 seconds. Okay. Single leg deadlift. Two side raise. So left arm this time, left leg going back. Core engaged. up and to the side. Ten seconds. Okay. So first lunge pass through for this round, round four. So kettlebell on that right hand, pass into the left. In three. So step back with the right to centre. Step back with the left. Give me one more. 
Okay, come down to the floor. We have got leg lowers to finish. So taking that kettlebell up, those legs are up, and we're gonna go lower that leg, nice and controlled. Make sure that back does not arch. As soon as that back arches, bring that leg back up. Now you can intensify this by doing double leg. Okay, but again, just pay attention to that back. Make sure it's firmly on the ground. If you find this too challenging, bend those knees and bring those legs down. Now, last 10 seconds and you've finished. All the way to the end. Well done and relax. Safely put that kettlebell down. Excellent. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, 20 minutes, you've worked your whole body. Make sure that you cool down, stretch it out, either cool down on my channel, cool down of your choice. Also make sure that you get those fluids in and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye bye.